fire department trying to move a little bit closer, no doubt trying to assess the scene and assess how dangerous this will be for them. But the force of that is quite considerable. Look at those jets going up, filled with goodness knows what from under the, uh, under the, the ground there, tarmac, mud, you name it, underneath Grand Central Station. So the force pushing out all sorts of things very near the Chrysler building, the air near the site filled with ash, we're being told. Thousands of commuters evacuated the train terminal at Grand Central Station too. Some had a run, not surprisingly, after workers yelled for people to get out of the building. Witnesses reported also that, that, that their buildings shook, so clearly a huge amount of force involved in this explosion. Uh, the utility company, Consolidated Edison, said there was an operational problem in the area. Well, that's a bit of an understatement at this stage, isn't it? And crews were responding. Um, that's all they're prepared to say at the moment, so that's down to the utility company, Consolidated Edison. No doubt they'll have a greater response once this situation is brought under control. Well, our local reporter is waving to his, uh, his office to try and get attention that he's ready to talk. He's obviously got an interview with uh, a witness there. We just lost those pictures, didn't we? That was looking like it was going to get interesting. So it does seem that a steam pipe has exploded in midtown Manhattan on the east side. Huge force as well. Smoke, steam, uh, 10 stories high. It can be seen right across the Manhattan skyline. But at this stage, New York Police Department saying it does not appear to be terrorism related and no reports at the stage of injuries. Keep an eye on that story, of course, here on Sky News. And now for the very latest on an explosion in Manhattan's east, which has caused a major scare during the evening rush hour. We are joined from Manhattan by Chris Barry from ABC Radio in New York. Hello to you there, Chris. Can you take us through what is happening at the moment? Uh, as we speak, uh, still uh, a, a torrent of steam and debris is rushing out of a, a huge gaping hole uh, in the middle of the street in Manhattan near Grand Central Station. Um, this is the result of an explosion that happened, uh, I guess, about, uh, well, about an hour and a half ago now. Uh, what apparently was either a transformer explosion or a steam pipe explosion, um, uh, possibly uh, uh, if, if it were a transformer explosion, which happens frequently in the city, it may have ruptured a steam pipe. Uh, but as, as we understand it right now, uh, there are at least six people injured uh, from uh, debris and from burns from the steam. Uh, but, uh, of course, uh, when this happens in the city, uh, there's an immediate reaction of fear of a terrorist attack. Uh, police were uh, quick to investigate and discover this was not terrorism. Um, but... Um, uh, of course, uh, people in the, in the city have been uh, on edge uh, uh, most recently because of the latest uh, national intelligence assessment uh, stating that uh, al-Qaeda was uh, determined to attack inside the U.S. But again, uh, right now, uh, uh, the uh, officials are saying, uh, both FBI and police are saying this was... Uh, not a, a, a terrorist incident. What a relief. Chris, we're seeing uh, live pictures of the scene now uh, more than an hour after this explosion and uh, there's this huge cloud of uh, grey smoke and, and um, debris yes, billowing at, up. At ground level, yeah. it's, uh, it's uh, still er erupting uh, what almost looks like lava. There's, it's throwing up both uh, steam and uh, well, it looks like rock and water and probably parts of pavement, but it actually looks like a, a geyser. Do, does anyone know what it actually is, what this steam is, and what's causing it to, to gush for so long? Uh, apparently, uh, officials haven't been able to uh, turn off the, uh, the source of the steam. Steam runs through the bottom of the uh, underground, uh, um, as a matter of course, in Manhattan uh, uh, for, for the, as a source of heat uh, and... Uh, uh, runs uh, you know from a central location to uh, uh, other buildings uh so um i i myself never realized that there was such pressure in this no. thing but I, I mean if you had seen this when it's uh, shortly after it happened it's just an incredible amount of uh steam gushing at an enormous force um almost as if there were a a, a, a like a steam locomotive uh, buried underground and just belching uh steam Chris, as you say, uh, it would have been immense panic when, when something like this happens in downtown New York. Were there lots and lots of evacuations, I imagine? Uh, 
people people were uh, told to uh, in the immediate vicinity were, were told to uh, clear out. Uh, we received several calls uh, from people saying, uh, you know, we've been told to evacuate. We don't know what's going on, but of course the first reaction is we thought it was a bomb. Uh, they heard the shake, uh, the uh, explosion, uh, felt a rumbling, uh, which persisted for quite some time. And of course, uh, you know, the first reaction is that uh, you know people thought this was an, an explosion, uh, you know, of a man-made uh, uh, source, but. Uh, Apparently, uh, it's not the case. It's just uh, some sort of uh, accidental uh, uh, occurrence. All right, Chris Barry, ABC Radio, live there in New York. We do thank you very much for your time this morning. You're very welcome. Six new acts of.